Hey guys, Mr. Jennings here. Um, just wanted to take a few minutes to go over the last chapter of the book. Um, just some final thoughts for the, the year um, as we wrap it up. Um, thanks for sticking with us uh, through the, the end of the year, uh, through the, the, the assignments uh, each week. Uh, it's definitely been a different year, um, especially this last part of it, but um, we're, we've made it to the end and you guys have worked hard and I appreciate that. Um, but just to go over a little bit of the uh, the chapter um, and what you need to do for the assignment. Those of you who need to complete it this week, um, try your best to make sure you get it in by maybe Thursday would be great just to get the assignments graded and in the book, please. Um, but the chapter, uh, Spending Time with God, and we've talked about it throughout the year, the um, the idea of spiritual wisdom and your spiritual growth and those things. It doesn't matter how old you are, you can gain spiritual wisdom. You don't have to be an adult. Um but even at your age, it's important to be spending that time and developing your own relationship with the Lord. Um, not just the relationship that your parents have with him. And, and that's just going to be yours because you're part of their home. But be your own uh, personal spiritual relationship with God that helps you grow in spiritual wisdom. Uh, to know his heart. To make that your heart. Uh, and hopefully uh, we are spending the time doing that. So again, spending time with God. Uh, the couple things I want to point out, first of all, it is important for us to continue to build our relationship with God when we are out of school uh, for the summer. And also spending time with God helps us build our relationship with him. So two key points, but two that we've talked about quite a bit. Um, we've had a kind of a gradual shift to summer this year. Um, you were in class, you were getting that concentrated class time of uh, reading the Bible and learning lessons from it. Uh, but then maybe it changed a little bit these last couple months to where um, a lot more of it was on your own and you had to spend the time doing what you needed to do. Um, maybe it was just because of assignments that you were reading the, the verses in the Bible and spending time in the Bible, but um, it was a little more your own initiative to do that. Um, but now as we get into the summertime when you don't have assignments and don't have things that I'm asking you to do, uh, is that effort kind of go into spending time in God's word, spending time with him, building your relationship with him. Uh, so again, it's kind of been a gradual um, reduction of, I don't, I don't like the idea of forced time, but I guess it's kind of how you look at it to, to where we are in the summer, where your time is yours, you have a lot more free time, and are you choosing to, to spend time with the Lord? Um, or is that getting totally forgotten about? We've, we've had a time where we haven't been able to do a lot. Um, so that that's a good time to work on that relationship with God and develop those right habits because you have more time. You don't, you don't have the excuse of saying, I'm too busy. You really, um, you know, you can find the time when we have been limited on where we can go and what we can do. Um, so again, it's hard in the, in the summertime when you get, especially if it opens back up and we can do a lot more stuff where you can get out and play and do whatever you want. Are you going to make sure you're still taking that time for the Lord and spending time with him? Uh, so many of the, the the traits that we looked at, at throughout the year, um, the love, the gentleness, the integrity, the meekness, humility, hard work, faithfulness, self-control, courage, submission, obedience. Um, of ourselves, we're not going to be very good at those things. But as we've talked about, spending time with the Lord, growing that relationship uh, with Him, again, to where His heart becomes your heart, is going to help all these things to fall into place. And a lot of these uh, categories or the characteristics and the traits here um, are based on a, a humility and as opposed to pride. If we are prideful, we are going to focus on ourselves. Uh, we're not going to focus on spending time with God because that's what he wants. Um, and we're also not going to have a lot of these traits in our own life um, because we're looking at ourselves, where a lot of these traits are towards others and showing the right heart, right attitude, the right speech, all those things to others around us. So again, uh, having a humble spirit uh, to say, Lord, I need you in my life. I need to learn your will um, because of myself, I'm not where I need to be. So that humility can lead us to spending time with God and spending time with, uh, working on our relationship with him. Um, you know, throughout the year, we've had many uh, biblical examples. Uh, first of all, with Jesus, just about every one of these character traits that we looked at, uh, our best example was Jesus, and he's given us his life and the Bible to show us how to do these things. Uh, but there are so many other biblical examples that we looked at as well, as well as historical figures. Um, and, uh, you know, even people in your own life today that you can look at 
And, you know, with his knowledge base that we've gotten throughout the year uh, as kind of a guideline and a help to help you see who is doing things the right way, you can look to them. You can seek advice from them and counsel or just observe how they live their lives and see uh, what makes their life, as we looked at in the last couple of recent chapters, what makes their life a success. Not in the terms of what the world thinks is a, a success, but what is a um, success for a, a godly Christian. Uh, so again, um, making that your goal as well, not just seeing it in others and thinking, oh, that's nice. That'd be great if I was like that. But, you know, making that your your mission to say, I want to do that. I want to be that. And, and throughout this year, we've been equipped with seeing how we can do that. So making sure that we are doing that and working on our own uh, personal spiritual walk and our relationship with God. Um, so there's just a, for the chapter, there's only a few answers that you need to provide. Uh, then the last part, there are 30 uh, four questions. Uh, there are 34 chapters that we looked at before this chapter. So each uh, question comes from one of the chapters and they go in order. The first question comes from chapter one uh, and so on. Uh, and these questions, I don't think they're going to be too difficult for you. It's a review, but you do need to complete this um, for a grade just to help you kind of, it's not really an exam, but it's kind of set up like an exam as far as just a complete review of the entire year. Um, so make sure you're doing that um, and turning that in. Uh, you can, again, send pictures of the completed pages to me. Uh, there's a blank for the letters to fill in as you go through. Uh, but again, make sure you complete that uh, if you're not exempt. If you are exempt, uh, hopefully you've taken the time to watch the video and um, we'll take the time to fill in your book. I know for me personally, I wouldn't like to not have one chapter of my book completed. Uh, so make sure you do that as well. Um, but make sure you get that turned to me again, hopefully by Thursday. Uh, but my encouragement to you, and I'll be praying for you to, um, again, grow your own spiritual walk. Um, the main goal that I would have um, for this year, um, despite it being different and uh, despite being away from you, is that you were able to learn uh, things to help you in your own spiritual walk. Um you know, if you struggled to really grasp a lot of the character traits we looked at or the things that we looked at, but but you developed um, a desire to to grow in the Lord um, and to spend time with Him, then this was year was a success. Um, those things will fall into place later if you were doing the things you need to to spend time with God. So again, it is important for us to continue to build our relationship with God when we are out of school for summer, which is next week. Um, and then spending time with God helps us build our relationship with Him. Uh, so uh, my hope is that you're spending more time with God. Um, hopefully not your your only time with God is, say, Bible class or in church and these things that we haven't been able to do um, for the last few months. Um, but hopefully you have that own your own time where you spend with Him each day. Again, as things get more opened up, as this virus hopefully passes behind us. Um, I don't think we're there yet, but um, things may be trending that way as long as nothing changes. But, um, you know, are you still going to make sure you have that time, making it a priority to spend time with God? Um, so again, uh, those of you who need to, make sure you complete the chapter uh, and submit the uh, review assignment to me for grading. That's uh, 20 points, so it's a decent number of points. But again, I don't think it should be do too difficult for any of you um, to do. You might not even need to look through the book, um, but you do have that as a resource. You're more than welcome, obviously, to look back through the book to find the answers. Um, but I do want to say, uh, despite being separated uh, for these last couple months throughout the year, throughout the time we had in class, actually in class, and then this time I've enjoyed uh, looking through this book with you and studying the Bible with you. And um, you know, I know it's helped, helped me and my growth just to... You know, I'm, I'm not beyond where I can learn um, even some of the simple lessons that this book teaches and along with some of the, the more in-depth lessons that we've looked at. Um, so again, uh, I thank you guys for, for putting in the effort this year. Uh, I enjoyed having you in class. I was definitely disappointed to not be able to spend time with you again beyond uh, the middle of March. Um, kind of a sudden stopping of class uh, as far as getting together, but but thanks for sticking with it. Sticking with me uh, throughout the year, uh, you guys have done a great job with with everything, and um, you know we had our fun in class, but we also learned a lot. I think 
um, and I enjoyed it. Uh, I am grateful for each of you. I hope you guys um, are doing well and your families are doing well and have stayed healthy. Uh, I hope you enjoy your summer. Um, look forward to hopefully seeing most of you again next school year. Hopefully we'll be in school. Um, I definitely miss it. I'm sure a lot of you do too and seeing your friends and those kinds of things. Uh, but I'm praying for you and your families. Uh, I thank, I'm thankful for you. And uh, again, I hope you guys have a great summer. Uh, thanks for spending time with me uh, in class and, and are here over the videos. And uh, again, thanks for your hard work. Uh, keep up the good work. And above anything else, make sure you're spending time with God and growing your own personal relationship with him. All right, guys, I will talk to you uh, and hopefully see you uh, before too long again. Have a, uh, a great summer. Bye.